Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing the adventures of uh, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. And hopefully I've fixed the audio issues that were happening for the... recordings, so that they should now upload without problem. Oh, the audio is there. It's just uploading to the... Secondary channel is a bit of an issue. But, 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 we shall continue. A part of me kind of wants to go and go resource hunting, but I don't think we're at the point of resource hunting just yet. And at the same time, I should probably resource hunt off stream just to make it fit easier. Let's see at this. Chilly path to a hot bath. You come across a man trying to build a road to the secret springs that dot the Hebra Mountains. He says work's been slow going because of the cold. If only he had something to warm up. Bravo! With the road to the secret hot springs completed, all of the springs are crowded day in, day out with visitors. The memory of all those happy, smiling faces fill your heart with warmth. Improved heart recovery. That's cool. Uh, ooh, special attack gauge upgrade. Neat. That's always nice. The Hyrulean army and the Rito are jointly organizing a glide training course spanning the length of the Tanagar Canyon. To get the paraglider that far, they will need courage and a fire for an updraft. We need lots of wood for it. I won't stop aiming high. With Rivali's group taking the lead, all soldiers completed the glide training. Even the reserved Rito leader had a smile on his face. Perhaps he enjoyed sharing the thrill of soaring with others. Booyah! Let's see. Ooh, one-handed bonus combo. Down all. Mm. I doubt that I'll actually use it. Do this one, do this one. I can't! I need more things! And I don't want to hunt just yet. In fact, it's not even that, 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 that good. It's just, oh, hearts for everyone. Eh. Ah, an Impa bonus combo. Generations of Kakariko villagers have passed down a secret training method that, when practiced correctly, is said to impart a new skill. Impa plans to give it a shot, but she'll need some supplies. I am stronger than the time-honored training technique involved chopping vegetables faster than the eye could perceive. Impa found that uh, this did indeed teach her a new move, and hey, not a bad lunch. And apparently, uh, a, a shirt for Link, which is kind of funny. And another Impa bonus combo. To take down the monsters skulking around their town, the villagers of Kakariko village must be able to fight as one. Make preparations for a feast that will strengthen the villagers' bonds. For a moment, I was just like, this is sounding similar to the set traps one, but no, it's different. For a moment, I thought, it's like, oh god, did I mess up? Did we time travel? After a filling meal of carrots harvested from local farms, the villagers' bonds were much deeper. Impa joined them for the early morning training and was awed by their cooperation. And I guess while we're here, Let's go ahead and pilot the divine beast Varuta. Just kill some dudes. Hopefully it shouldn't be terrible. Let us start off with a nice eh, kind of rail shooter. You can only go like forward. So it's not really Oh Dance of the Egg. I love that this is a thing. I can't believe I never knew that it was a thing. He's just super cool. Right. Destroy! Destroy! Ah, oh, it's a time trial. Die already. I guess I didn't really need to do that because Smicky Smash, but still. They're just shooting me with arrows! If only it was that easy to destroy a divine beast. 
really isn't. And I'll wait till I get to that next section. To use the super move. Will you please stop? Gonna wait for it to... Okay, maybe I should use it right now. Just to get out of here. Can't even go all that far. Okay, we need to come around the corner. Yikes. I can shoot them out of the sky. Die, die. And uh, we're kind of at that point. Laser commence. Give up the fire. Let me through. Destroy before they destroy me. Tactical use of specials is vital there, especially because there's so many Lynels just out to destroy. I would have been, especially after last time I played this game, it was just like, yeah, I've never seen a divine beast fall. And then I go and be the first divine beast to ever fall. That would be just. Horrible. Ah, another mission has unlocked from that. Lots of missions that we can do. Mifa bonus combo. Let's go ahead and do this. Zora soldiers looking to follow Mifa's example plan to practice diving from a high place. Some of them aren't very experienced divers, though. Find some kind of material to ensure their safety. Here, you can have some crab. Crab save life! All the, better to help my friend. the soldiers are completed the dive, training without any injuries. Mifa was touched by their devotion to improving themselves, and she resolved to apply herself even more to her own practice. Ah, that is a normal mission. Let's go do this one. Cross the volcano! Who should I play as? Uh, since it's a volcano, let's play Daru. Leave it to me. Leave it to Beaver, indeed. Ah, well, let's, uh, since I have lots of money, let us, indeed, Ooh. level up have Daruk to... Yeah, level 19 seems good. Hey. Really just need to get some hey. people up to close to level 20. Like Mifa, I never use Mifa, I don't know why. Hey. Really should one of these days. Oh. Especially, just get everyone to catch up with Link, really. Hmm. Or I could, I guess, get Mifa up to level 25 so we can do that mission as well. It's nice that they have that. Where is it? Where is that mission? Ah, the mission's up here. Don't think I really need. I guess I could do less fire damage. Where is the less ah, damage from fire? Let's go ahead and do that, since there's going to be a trial by fire feeling to this. And off into an alternate universe we go to brave the dangers of everything. Dance of the egg, I say. 
dance of the egg to serenade the Goron, going into danger. Woot woot. You can make a dash if you double tap. Super speed egg. Amazing. Be gone. Nope. Oh, I did it at last. No. He be gone, goblin, goblin, moblin. I, I guess <laughs> Gabe did not want to give me that one. Nope. I'm gonna bother Stasis seeing his game is rude. It doesn't give me Stasis. There we go. Ah, we got a rush. Beat him up. Throw him off the mountain. Oh, yeah! Get out. Let's fight this fire, Moblin. <laughs> Smash Stasis to the ground. Does not get much mileage out of Stasis at all, does he? Terrible of dodging with Daruk. Just need to spam dodge when these guys are fighting, or else I'm just gonna get eternally smacked. Give. As we go, we gotta fight rocks. Oh. I completely missed a little side cavern area. Profound sadness. We must go up, because we can't just blow this up. Have wonky camera angles as we try to go up. I don't know what happened. I think I fell down to a previous floor. Oh, there is. Why have thing if there is no thing? I've been robbed! Call the police! I'm wondering if I'm just not killing them or if they're just despawning. Any move that can hit the weak point outside of normal weak point times is magical. I love it. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to do this again. Fine, I'll, I'll smash you. Can you handle it? I don't think it can. Let's <laughs> just do this. I don't even need to ride you, Igneo Talus. I just need to pose. Rolling around at the speed of Talus. Smashing it up. Smiling. Yeah, for these side things, I really should level up other people besides Ravali and Link. Or else we're gonna run into more of. Well, I guess I have to. 
pay to level them up to do this mission. And just have that happen a million times. He wants me to do this one. He wants a high level thing. Tough bulwark of the Gorons. I need him to be that level. Special attack gauge for Daruk. Might as well do this. A new event called the Gut Check Challenge has been set up by the famed Gut Check Rock. Lord Daruk will take the first climb. Give him a gift to help him scale the rock more quickly. Ah, the Lynels in the uh, the Divine Beast level don't count. Rip off, I say. With throngs of spectators looking on, Daruk took the gut check challenge for the first time and made it all the way to the top. Excitement filled the air as others attempted to match his feet. And a Daruk bonus combo. Miners in Elden have noticed some rather precarious boulders over their heads. Send foods that'll give the workers the extra muscle they need to shift those big rocks. The next Thanks to the me. foods and powering effects, the miners moved those boulders aside with no trouble. Now they can work more safely and perhaps even expand their mining operations. And this somehow gives Daruk more power despite the fact that he really wasn't there. Daily Drills Goron! I was wondering, why am I too weak? Guess we should try... Let's try Impa. It says uh, you need to be a high level. I kind of want to try. But I really shouldn't. Let's level up Impa. This is what happens when you don't evenly distribute levels. Everyone falls short. Too many button presses to level people up. Let's -a go. Beat up some Gorons for the first time, I think. Rumors. Blue, white, rabbit-shaped spirits have been spotted. It said warriors skilled enough to strike one will be rewarded. Yeah, I know about that. I saw one during uh, a Death Mountain level. And then I, I thought it was like something else. I thought it was a Korok, so I ran towards it. Gather together. Blow them away. There may not be many, but we shall blow them up. And they resemble Ocarina of Time to me. Even if they're probably just... The first thing that comes to mind is Ocarina of Time. Even if it is probably just... Breath of the Wild. That just goes to show how long it's been since I played Breath of the Wild. Beat him up. Smash him with a frog. Slash and a bomb. The Gorons away. Destroy! Not really. Blow them all away! Just use my powers liberally. When I have them, use them. Even if it means that then a Goron captain shows up and I don't have powers. Oh well. Ah! 
I was clearly looking at him, game. It was kind of rude. Rush time with Ninja. Blow up. Time for you. Explosions. Oh, this one's already almost dead. Give me your powers. For some reason, the controls were just... It felt like they were beat on. It was probably just me screwing things up. Use powers before we lose it properly. Oh, hey. Another Goron captain spawned. Perfectly. He spawned into death. Give me your power. Give me your soul. For a moment, I was just like, why aren't the Gorons dying? Now time to beat up Sturu. Again, I am locked on to an enemy game. Stasis them. I know that Impa is flippy fly run away, but please. I am ready. Bye bye, Daru. I seal your fate with a giant kunai, and then I run away. <laughs> and it says daily drills. Are these drills really daily? Do they happen once a day for everyone? Murder for everyone, and Ravali just keeps getting bows. Everyone's just like, here, have another bow. Another bow. And then another one. Five billion bows for the bird. It never ends. Reduce enemy damage. Ah, oh, flat rate. Perfect. The tailor employed by the royal family of Hyrule says that he'd like to flex his garment-making muscles by creating clothes fit for battle. Bring him some sturdy materials to work with, and these are indeed a bunch of sturdy materials. Bravo. With the hardy materials you provided, the tailor was able to craft clothes that were at once lightweight and much, much stronger. They're bound to be of use in the battles to come. Brilliant. Brilliant. Well, it's about time that we use this, I guess. Use Mipha. Let us go. Oh, but it wants me to destroy Malduga. I think it's name. So I shall bring my main destroyer. My destroyer of monsters, Ravali. Because if I remember correctly, Malduga, the giant sand whale thing. Nightmare monster. No trusty. It dances onto the stage. It's the egg. The magical egg. The egg. Happy egg. 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 
Ah, wants me to go this way. Smash it! Quit running away. You fail again. I smash you with the same hammer. And now, you die. Even with one extra enemy there, he still can't hit enemies during that one. Ah, there we are. They didn't load in for a bit. Booyah! Goodbye, Blue Moblin. Die. Make sure not to die. After I put work in saving you. Booyah. How dare you hit me? I should now use one of my extra abilities. Low battery, but I had to have some like it did. At least a little bit. Just in time to get that weak spot, too. Booyah. I am the victor. I am victory. How dare you? Stop shooting me. What indeed? Fire bombs. Watch and learn. Destroy Melduga. You can stand a chance. Oh yeah. I don't think there's really an easy way. Almost. Booyah! One turn, Melduga. Not normal at all, I'm guessing. Also, it's making weird noises. What's this? So I shall smash you. I play such silly music once we get to this point. Ah, uh, just in time to not smash it. Die, Melduga. Give me your heart. Cool down. And now, smash the Maduka. And that is why I bring a person that I know actual combos with. Oh, and he has the scarf from the champion ceremony. It's adorable. I love it. Kind of funny that you can't choose, like, everybody else's outfit. Only. <laughs> Only Link. Everyone else, they get clothes as the plot demands.
But booyah! Our first Melduga killed. Level 26. Yeah, we definitely need to level up people. Do proper missions. There is a Korok in the Lost Woods who is bored of the same old, same old. Pique their curiosity with something one could only find in the other world. Hestu is adorable. And taking their first glimpse of another worldly stone, the Korok got so excited they snapped their branch. The extraordinary sight had given them a flash of inspiration for a new riddle. Let's go and do another Divine Beast Diddly. And hopefully not ruin things. Hopefully not die. Dance of the Egg. Egg on ice. Now that's a an ice ballet you can get anywhere. Destroy everyone! Why do they pack their bases with, like, a purely TNT, it seems? If only these counted as kills for Hinox. Like, you don't have to give me, like, the actual, oh, you defeated this monster, like, item. You don't have to give me their guts and stuff, but at least count them as kills. It says it's a uh, defeated. Defeated is the monster. So, defeat the monster. Laser beam! Die, monsters! Come on, that's clearly hitting. Clearly hitting. Also, how are these Hinoxes so big? I don't think I've... Link would be absolutely annihilated by Hinox that big. Seriously. It's absolutely nuts. I refuse to believe Hinox can get that big. The armies of Calamity Ganon are just like, we have to save our best monsters in case to try and bring down the Divine Beast. Instead of, you know, smashing up their champions when they're not in the Divine Beasts. Imagine if they had that Hinox lying around, ready to ambush the champions while they were going after Princess Zelda. Everything would die. Then there would be no Divine Beasts. I find it funny you can actually smash things in the in the background. Time for more laser beam. Laser beam everyone. Apparently there was just a lot of enemies right there. I even got more rupees. Yay.
Ah, this one they want me to do, but I want to do the main story. Let's go ahead and uh, do main story. Level recommendation, level 25. Hmm. Who should I bring? I guess, who should I bring? I know, let's bring Impa. Uh -huh. But before, before we go, let us bump up everyone's uh -huh. items. Well, first, let's uh, Octopolish. We have an Octopolish, and we have one Octopolish. I don't think it really matters what you use, but let's try Opal, because from what I remember, it doesn't really matter. You just need to have the number of things needed. And if you have the number of things needed, then bam. You win. Because like, Using a diamond isn't going to give you a better thing. Same thing with the Hanok. Like, the death certificate trophy things. You can't just go, hey. Thing. Dash tag, I resell. I would like to sell... The, uh, the Master Sword. The attack speed. Attack speed. Super good. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Fine, it's trying to tell me not to do it. But I want, sir. I want, sir. <laughs> Battle XP can go up if I make it a high resell weapon. And there's an attack speed. <laughs> it may not be six, but it's still good. <laughs> now to main story. Let us put it on. Ah, you can get bonus rupees, but I want experience. Bonus rupees can be for grinding, I guess. If I'm grinding materials. Unless there's specifically a material grinding As the recipe. Pilots learned how to manipulate the arcane machinery of their divine beasts. Pura led a research expedition to the otherworldly edifice that had appeared on Hyrule Field. This Sheikah Tower was far from the only one of its kind. In fact, such structures were embedded deep in the earth throughout the kingdom, their emergence controlled by a device inside Hyrule Castle. To activate the control device, they would have to bond the Sheikah Slate with a Sheikah Tower. Zelda, Hura, and the champions set out to do just that. I forgot to put clothes on Link again. God damn it. <laughs> Gremlin of Speaking Hyrule Part Alexia. 2, I guess. You think you have time to busy yourself with things like that? It's just that I... The egg speaks out of turn. Listen to the ancient device. It's smarter than you. This is from a long time ago. It's a relic I found one day, while Mother and I were out exploring. It's sentimental value. Mother and I, we discussed it at some length together. It seemed special, like it might hold hidden powers. Even after all this time, I've yet to unravel its purpose. 
just like my own purpose. Father, if you allow me to uncover the meaning behind such relics, I believe it could help us to- Enough! That is not for you to determine. It doesn't mean I won't continue with my training, Father. But I also want... I want to... Explore all options. To do everything that I can. Even so, it seems that you are avoiding your duty. I will allow it. For now. Hey! But do not forget your mission. Slight lenience there, even if it is still kind of mean-handled. He didn't even give it back. Now back to the big bananas. There they are. Right there in a pile. So, if they can fix that Sheikah thingamajig, what does that mean for me? I mean us. That hmm, thing fix it. We'll tell them where we are and what we're doing. <laughs> that thing thingamajig. <laughs> Our cover would be blown, huh? I wonder if they're talking about the slate or the egg. Measures are being taken. Soon you'll each have your own parts to play. The egg, the evil egg, demands sacrifice. This is directed to Lord Cannon. Oh, apologies. <laughs> I like that it's on a like a pillow. <laughs> this guardian is possessed by Calamity Ganon, harbinger of destruction. With it. I will bring so hilarious. This world to its Worship needs. the evil egg. <laughs> you are blind, seer. Calamity Ganon is not for mortals to control. <laughs> yeah, because it's just like if it's a harbinger of destruction, it's not going to listen to you, man. It just won't. The Sheikah Slate demands. Update me. And Link is just like, ah, instinct. Suddenly, the shadows went away. Oh, it's uh, <laughs> because I haven't used the controller in a bit. So it's just like, are you still there? Burn in reduction. Link just decided, screw it, I'll do it myself. Yes, I guess Pura yes, wanted it to happen, even though it almost looked like Link was instructed by the egg to do it. We have to fill in the Ubisoft sandbox. The central tower. Under Pura's guidance, they embarked on a mission to restore the ancient structures all across Hyrule. They had no notion that a shadowy foe was amassing all its might to disrupt their quest. The party headed for Akala, where the final tower awaited. <laughs> Just skip As all the towers. The clan ambush. Maybe it could be implied that there wasn't much to do at the other towers. Or maybe they just didn't want to have the players have the monotony of playing a play a playing a mission for each tower. <gasps> Report the Eager Clan have stormed. Face the power. I thought I put Impa on. God damn it. <laughs> I thought I put him on. I'm a failure, and she's still using the number five. Ah! Everything is falling apart. Ah! Agony. Stick with Zelda. 
and Zelda stick with Ravali. Could have sworn that I updated things. But I failed. Do we control the Guardians? This place used to have a research lab. Look, the Guardians they were studying are still here. Just out in the open. If we can activate a Guardian with the little one, we may be able to clear the path. Time to murder Yiga. Time to murder them all. Ah, oh, there's a Blade Master. Maybe I should have Ravali follow me. That they'll actually do something. How dare you smack me! Destroy! Destroy the big banana! You can't hit me in the air. I was gonna try and freeze him, but I'm not sure how long that would last. Rude. But what does it want? Which guardian? Like this guardian? Does it want me to activate this guardian? Nope, they just wanted me to destroy the Yiga clan. Or nope, it might have been that one. I don't know. Onwards we go. You think we could have just hack and slash through the wooden cart? It was a cart! It doesn't really seem that difficult. How dare you. You shouldn't know how to use arrows. Silly goblins. Fuck goblins. Just fly in. Link. The s <laughs> he was apprenticed by the first drone. Are you even coming, allies? I don't think they were coming. You're supposed to follow me. Yeah, follow Link. Come along. You can do it. I have things I want to murder. Like Yiga Clan. Like that. Oh, it's the big Linky dude. Destroy the lanky dude! Where does a big boy like that even come from? Bananas? I don't think bananas can do that. That is highly improbable banana power. How would the Yiga clan even have time to set up these barricades? Do you think they would be too busy trying to... Like, I don't know. Well, then again, I guess they already set up in the place, so they didn't exactly raid it all that much. Get out of my base! Mine. Activate. Whatever that is, the furnace. What'll it do? Explode? I don't know why we act activate a furnace for that when the egg did that. I do not know. I should be reading down there, but I have Yiga Clan to kill. I can't read while I'm murdering. Not even Dexter has that multitasking skills of murder power. Ow, I got smashed by Yiga Clan man. A Yiga man. That one lone Yiga clan member was just like, I can take the place of the big banana man! And he failed. Let me in! 
Let me in! You are shocked at them using one of the natural defenses of this place. And not just... You know... They created wooden barricades. Why are you shocked at them actually using a built-in defense? I shall have Link go ahead with our Bosa. Ravali! Head down to the below town. And uh, clean up the ego on your way. They are like vermin. And shall be eradicated. Destroy the relic! You can stay there. Protect from Yiga clan ambushes. Eradicate the monsters. Thank Jesus. The widespread destruction. You see, this is why Revali, if he was in my hands, would have ended Link before Zelda got there. <laughs> the game would have been so much different. You see, if I was in control of Revali, he would be able to super uphold his boasts. What I'm saying is, I am a better Revali. Maybe not in voice, but in skill. Just eradicate them one by one. And since there isn't really a time limit, and there's like, destroy the furnace. Even though I don't think they've done anything. Which is kind of funny. The, the game isn't like even simulating anything against the furnace. But I guess they're just like, or maybe they are trying to destroy. Okay, I don't think I've seen that before. He just like scooped up an enemy. Watch and learn. Let us use my extra ability bar to eradicate the moblin. An eradication for you. And then I just got shifted around. By all the stationary. Yet another victory. For a moment, I was like, oh no, Rivali is stuck. Oh, and I need to investigate before I leave. Head on down to the next one. Oh, I can't change. Hey, there we go. Bomb! We just keep doing that. Annihilate them all! Huh. He actually survived. This will not be a simple task for you. Have you know that? Yes, it will. Where have the blue moblins spawned? I don't see them. Annihilation! Annihilation and grass cutting! And then I fly. Leave that poor defenseless furnace alone. And now I can use this again. Annihilation on everyone. 
Eh, I'll just let this happen. Fix my mic. Freeze them. Remember, do not scratch space when I'm murdering. Even though it didn't really help that Yiga Blade Master. I was in the air. You can't fight in the air. Do you have wings? How dare you. Die. How dare a moblin smack me while I was in the sky. Very rude. Now head back there. You can go after Zelda. Do this, and face the consequences of your actions. Destruction for you. And I'll go ahead and use this just to finish you off. For daring to wibble wobble around after I smacked all of you. Bye. The simple ancient furnace. I'm just gonna clean up all the enemies. Are right, Zelda? Follow Link. Head there. And uh, since I get things for murdering things, I can slowly make my way murdering things. Because I don't know. Maybe there'll be things worth murdering. Like these guys. Their tails might be useful. Annihilation for them all. Annihilation, annihilation. Be gone, monsters. Be gone and die. How dare you infest the plane. Honestly, if there were semi-sentient... Well, I guess they are sentient, but... Semi-sapient... Just like monsters like this. They can use tools. They can formulate stratagems. Yet all they want is the eradication of everything else. How different would the world be? Like, at that point, you'd think, like, all the non, hey, let's band together and annihilate the world groups, you'd think they would band together and be like, hey, let's try and preserve the world from the eradicating monsters. But no, they are still in separate kingdoms. Although it depends on how bad the monster thing was. So it might have been, oh yeah, normal villagers, they can deal with these monsters. We don't need to band together with the Gorons and the Rito. So I don't know. Weird fantasy conundrums. Kill monsters, get wood. The ultimate, the ultimate reward. Tree. Then again, if you could get a tree just by murdering monsters, wouldn't you? It would be a most magnificent reward. Kill a monster. Save the environment. Annihilation for all the Iga clan. Seriously, how many people do they have? You can't have this many initiates. Some of them have to be clones. The monsters, sure. The monsters can be just like a billion of monsters. They can also respawn, so it makes sense. But the Yiga clan? They're supposed to be a splinter group of the Sheikah. But run away! Mm -hmm. 
It didn't even do anything. We didn't... We don't even get to fight them. Let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, we can't go there. Can we head there? Nope, it's behind everything else. So, stick with me. Die. That totally should have killed him. Well, at the same time, they can't really be clones, clones because uh, Master Koga said that he learned that secret cloning technique uh, from his mother's brother's mother or something like that. So they can't really be clones. The Sheikah clan is just... had a terrible exodus, I guess. So yeah, I guess they just had a terrible exodus one... decade. Nope, can't go anywhere here, but there is a chest, so it's not all wasted. <laughs> Giant Ancient Core 3. That pays for itself. I'm going to come this way just because I want to kill these guys. How dare you exist. Die for existing. Smiling man. Smiling elemental man. Take that. I've learned this trick of the bombs. Run away a little bit, then use them. And then, of course, there has to be, like, uh... I don't know. There has to be, like, a Korok out here or something. Yeah, that's the one thing. I'm terrible with looking out for Koroks. I really should look out for more Koroks, they just don't. There's a Korok. I see the pinwheel. I run for the pinwheel. Give me the Korok. I don't like the look on its face. It seems to promise me damnation. Run, 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 run. Do everything but what I'm supposed to. The comedic adventures of those two Yig clan that were sneaking in to do their duty came to an end when Link just randomly happened by and smacked them to death. So that's how you deal with them. Huh. You must face me. I shall destroy you. Destroy! Destroy! You've gotten weaker since we last fought, Suga! I see you have some skill. Well... Annihilate them! Annihilate them all! Another, another! Yay! Korok! Gib. Gib me Korok. And destruction. Korok and destruction, the new video game coming to a I don't know near you. Ow. Ah, I got that off. Neat. Nope. Ah, that didn't didn't run. Another rush! Yay! I'm not gonna say anything in case I jinx myself. I think I jinxed myself. Oh no! And now, kill the blue maned Lionel! 
Is it blue? Let me actually look at its mane. It looks more purple. It's a blue Lionel with kind of a purplish mane. Maybe kind of violet? Oh, crap. Is that, what, is that what I get for calling your your mane not blue? Well, it's not. It's just not blue if it's not blue. Another rush. I play it, pray that it'd be enough. It's almost dead. I should not use my ability to finish it off. Jesus Christ. You are a determined little Lionel, aren't you? Now I have the idea of a fanfic. Where, like, I, I know it won't work because the monsters just form, fully formed. From the bosom of Calamity Ganon. But, like, now I'm just imagining, like, a baby Lionel. And it gets raised by the champions. Like, I just think... Oh, I can't smack up the bananas and claim the bananas? Let me claim the bananas! It's only fair. They try and steal the Citadel, I steal their bananas. But yeah, like I said, I understand that my little idea wouldn't work because monsters just form fully formed from Calamity Ganon. But it would be a cute idea. Okay, but I didn't even mean to flurry rush dodge, but okay. But yeah, just a cute Lionel being raised by the champions. It being the only thing to melt the hard, hard heart of Ravali. Uncle Ravali. You're quite good. Perhaps next time, then. Run all you want. Your annihilation will come. Annihilation for you, annihilation for all. Yes, yes, destroy them all. Kill, kill, <laughs> kill. Bong. Oh, it just died. Okay, it just died. I am the Winrar! Fear me! I wonder who taught Link how to shoot. Oh yeah, isn't there also secrets? I swear, there's secrets. In the map. God. I'll look elsewhere. Bananas, bananas, all of you attack. We must undo their forces. Smack them all up. You will be annihilated. What the hell? Ow. Now oh, that's very ninja of you. I don't know who I'm destroying, but I'm destroying them good. <laughs> I didn't know who I was destroying, but I was destroying them. Indeed. Wahoo. Akala Tower completed. Level ups for all. Sheikah slates, bows. 
even a spear for the one that did not join us because I I think did I want to want did I want to want to want to have her join us? I also forget. I am terrible memory wise. So much so I thought that I did a thing that I did not do. We're so high up. Have you not been up here before? Have you found anything yet? I see. Hmm. So, by bonding this with the Sheikah Slave... What's that? Pura? Listen, Princess! These towers have got a lot of power hiding inside. The Sheikah Towers were designed to scan their surroundings for Calamity Ganon. <laughs> so they're, they are... Them, the terminals I guess that makes sense. Slave. They make a map because the they're security cameras. The geography nearby and locate monsters as easy as click snap. So click snap. can track down the enemy and take them by surprise. Precisely! Whoa! So they can take the fight to Calamity Ganon. Magical. Just telling you about it, why don't I give you a little demo? A demo? <laughs> it sounds like she's saying, let's go fight Calamity Ganon right now. Let's go beat him up. La 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 la. Then again, that kind of would be a pura thing to do. Let's go smack up Calamity Ganon. Beat him up right now, Jesus Christ! That is a lot of things. My resources—they're over—they're flowing away. Ah! Hey, do this one. That's all my money. They can't have my money. It's my money. It's my money. Let's see what this does. Discount in East Hyrule. Ah, nice. Eastern Hyrule has developed to the point that people rely on the tra uh, the transport of goods day and night. Gather all the light sources you can to make the road safe to travel after dark. And now it's cheaper. With your light sources installed, the roads got brighter, and that led to more people than ever traveling the roads. That will add, that will aid the region in their development. Impa Special Attack Gauge. Hatino Pasture is looking to change its wheat supplier. No matter the expense, they want higher quality crops to feed their livestock and stuff their, pl their pillows. Tabantha is famed for its wheat, but... What's the butt? New power? The family at Hatino Pasture was over the moon about those beautiful golden wheat stalks. They soon signed a deal with a grower in Tabantha, deepening the bond between their two villages. Ah, we did that too! Yay! We need more rocks. New colors for the Kochi dye shop. That's not the most important thing. Discount. Reduce time. Oh, that sounds delicious. Let's look at these. Bonus hearts. Special attack gauge. That's important. Nine Korok seeds. That's all my Korok seeds. All of them right there. Gone in a flash. Yeah, I forget what this guy gives me. More Sheikah sensor registrations. I guess that might be nice. One of the new researchers has strong insights, but an even stronger appetite. She says she can't form a thought unless her belly is full. Make a large meal to feed her genius. All my resources. <laughs> After cleaning her plate, the researcher sank her teeth into her work. And soon enough, she discovered how to make the Sheikah sensor more powerful. Remember to stay hydrated. Three times. That would make more sense if I had a webcam. But I don't really care. But now we can register more things we need. 
But hello there, Mario LC. How are you? Whether because of body heat or a fluke of air temperature, the room desig uh, designated for Sheikah State Research is unbearably hot and stuffy. Help those poor researchers cool down. And that is how we learn to make Cryonis more he's of use. I know how to talk, yes. The researchers could focus much better with white choo choo jelly cooling them off and their work progress by leaps and bounds. They even came up with a more potent version of Cryonis. Oh, completion rate, the hope of Akala. Help those with problems in Akala region to make the world a happier place. And then you get 15. What did you miss? I did a few missions like, uh, diddly dee. It was down here somewhere, I think. Well, that one comes to mind easier. Well, I think I did two Divine Beasts. I did a few little missions, and then I did the defense of, uh, yeah, this one. No, not that one. It was over here somewhere. Story mission! There was a story mission over here to go to the Akala Research Citadel, beat up some people, and save the day. I think it was over here, yes. Akala Citadel, we did that one. My map skills are terrible. Pity me. Let's see. Military training camp discount. I'm trying to think. I need to use my poor, poor resources. <laughs> There's a researcher at the ancient tech lab who is passionate about the science of combustion. He thinks he can make a remote bombs even more potent, given a few guardian parts. My resources. Oh, my resource is going away! Did you unlock VIP role in Twitch yet? I do not believe so. I do not know what that is. Then again, I'm also very... Unobservant. And at the same time, not sure if joke, or if I'm actually... Hmm, is that actually a thing? I do not know, because I am a fool. Which is the same thing as... I can't even make my party composition correct for a story mission. Though the inner workings of remote bombs are still shrouded in mystery, there's no doubt that the materials you provided led to a boost in their explosive material. Not material. Potential. A young girl from Rito Village wants to make a flowery garland for the local goddess statue, but she can't find the type of bloom she needs. Give that child what it needs! The Rito girl's face lit up when she saw the rare flower Link had brought her. Even the goddess statue seemed to have a faint smile dancing upon her lips. You unlock the ability to give the VIP role at 50 followers and 5 people chatting. I think you have it. Perhaps. Like, I have no idea how to do things if... <laughs> I have no idea how to do chat things at all. For a moment there, I thought it said, you stolen. But nope, we got a token. We got a bunch of mushrooms. And some wheat. Tabantha wheat. And I guess that makes sense. The Tabantha tundra is over there. For a moment, it's just like, did they steal the Tabantha wheat? Nope. Let's see. Da -da -da. Copious mushroom skewer. A cook wants to create a new dish using mushrooms, but is frustrated by a lack of fresh ideas. It doesn't help that she doesn't have ingredients either. Get her various mushrooms. You stole a token from the people of Hebra. Congrats, indeed. And the cook finally had a mushroom breakthrough and created an entirely new dish. She's given you the recipe so you can make it for yourself whenever you want. More movement speed! 15 movement speed is not worth hardy those. It's just not. <laughs> I spent too much money to have it stolen from me. No. I guess we can do this one. Who should do it? Who shall be sacrificed? Oh, it has to be him. Oh, that works out for good for me. Let's go actually use the less ice damage. Less damage from ice, please. BRB, you gotta do a home kit COVID test. Cringe. Indeed. But not really cringe. The real cringe are the people who spread it. Hope it comes back good for you.
And now, egg on ice, aka loading screen. I discovered I can make it dash, which is adorable. The dance of the egg scrambled. Oh, I have to defend. Ish. I'll just let you I'll annihilate the main forces. No, you don't. How dare you. Love the epic music. For a moment there, I read that as defeat the allied stronghold. And that makes no sense. I didn't even know we had bombs in here. Why do we have bombs in here? We're birds, we don't need bombs. There we go, we got the rush. Explode them all. I love the music. All the other music, like all the music in this game is fantastic, but they went hard for the Rito music, and I adore them for it. It's so good. And for the best character as well. Which is why I used it for the outro music, specifically for this series playthrough, well series, this game playthrough. Why'd you lock onto the farthest one? You bastard. Watch and learn. Mix no chance. You stand a chance. Get another victory. Take this. Take Destroy them all. One by one. I can't even get the good music because uh, the. Hey, <laughs> a weak point is there, music comes on. Take this! Don't let these monsters survive. Oh god, it's Choo Choo's. Let me out with robe. I do not want in the corner of doom. Watch and learn. See, Ravali didn't have to deal with this. Man, now I kind of want a Breath of the Wild RTS game. Like, I don't know, maybe like a hybrid RTS action adventure, but a. Uh, then that would also kind of be like a uh, tower defensey. I don't know. I want a mixture of this, but like where I can control armies to a degree. Let me defend against the monsters in super powerful ways. Take that, ice moblin. 
what that's what you get for being ice and not having any protections against fire. Get out of here. I'm gonna chase the Zolfos all the way home. And then I'll murder its family. I am the victor. resell all along. The items we could sell were the friends we made along the way. Sell your friends. I really need to do more upgrading. Ah, <gasps> oh, my resources. My money. Oh, hey. Another thing for Link. Booyah. So many missions, so many things demanding my money and my resources. All of them demand of me so much. Let's go ahead and do this. Well, well let's read. The researchers are planning to develop improvements for Magnesis, but they're concerned about the risk of electrocution. Maybe there's something you can do to allay their fears. Amazing. Why did... Hestu, Doc. Hestu's not on the team. <laughs> With a boost to their electricity resistance, the researchers were able to work in perfect safety. Soon they developed a major upgrade to the Magnesis ability. And of course, the one that I want the most is the one that I cannot have. Profound Sadnesis. Indeed. It's like, your people are low level. It's like, you think I don't know that? I need to fuse weapons for the boy. I want to try something. Wait, can, is there a way to... Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I was like, isn't there a way to make that... Uh, open up. Don't really care about dash damage. Don't really care about healing items all that much. I want to see what happens if I like... Man, it's not that much. I want it to do a task. First, let's see. Yep, I don't think anything's been added. Just want to make sure I'm not missing that. Because if there's an opportunity to add more things to the thing, we would have to take it. Ah, now we can add. Only midair attack. Everything is mid-air attacks. Why is everything mid-air attacks? Yeah, I guess it's pretty decent, all things considered. Because he's all... <laughs> considering how I use the boy, Rivali, he's always in the air. Level up maracas for Hestu. And wish I could annihilate that. 
that thing. Hey you, equip the big one. I guess it's no longer the big one. The big one shall devour the small. This up. <laughs> Blue maracas. Real, indeed. The most realist maracas are blue. Dabu dee dabu dai. If they weren't blue, why then they would just be terrible. I resold here. Wish that I could sell. Can I sell in here? I don't think I can. Profound sadness. Decisions, decisions. Let's try and level this up a bit. Attack speed for Ember. <laughs> uh, but I don't think I have any attack speed items. Well, there it is. But I can't just give it to her. It's, it's random at this point. If it wants to be given, it will be given. Attack speed is pretty good overall. But it will be given when it wants to give, apparently. I do... <laughs> insert that I, like... I forget, the Drake and Josh meme. I do not control the speed at which <laughs> attack speed is gifted. And now apparently wants to give just that. Ah! I don't understand how this system works sometimes. There we go. Attack speed for Impa. <laughs> It's a puzzle sometimes, getting them to function. Let's see. Monster drop rate, because I just love me some drop rate. Drop rate is my favorite thing. Because I need resources. Especially now that it demands so much of me. <laughs> and now we'll go ahead and, well, let's see. I guess we'll get the training camp discount because we're going to be training a lot of people up. Ah! The instructor of the military training camp is studying how best to fight smaller monsters. Bring him what he needs to develop tactics for pint-sized problems. Ah, yes. Because if we give him five key size, he'll be like, Ah, I can extrapolate the size of a keys now. Uh, main story are not epic. Do you see how many side things there are? There's too many! Ah! The instructor studied what you brought and soon developed a groundbreaking approach to battling small monsters. He will add it to the training options. Too many button presses to do things. One level up for Hestu. I think oh. that'll do it. We have the power of... Uh, is Link's armor still off? We have the power of skill. We don't need the side things. Dice to one moblin, basically. God, imagine if, like, the normal... Like, weapon... Not weapon, but a diddly dee. Ooh, bonus combo. The menacing Hinox has appeared near the Swordmaster's classroom, frightening the students to feed the creature to set their minds at ease. Well, I technically didn't beat that one. I beat a different one, but it kind of works out the same. Upon Link's return, the Swordmaster praised him for beating the Hinox. This is proof of your growth. Keep up your training, and your skill may someday rival my own. As I, uh, I tote my own. 
my own diddly dee. Oh, after all her help training Link and the other students, the Swordmaster is setting off on a journey to discover new lands. Give her supplies for the road ahead as thanks for her teachings. <laughs> the Swordmaster was deeply moved by Link's parting gift. The two of them had one last sparring match to say goodbye. Yay, more strong attacks. What, can we meet the Swordmaster again? No. <laughs> The hawk. We must fight the hawk. Herbosa bonus combo. Hearing about a horde of monsters up on Thunder Thundra Plateau, Urbosa set out to investigate personally. Of course, it's a risky mission. Get something that would keep her hidden from the enemy. She doesn't. I she fights with lightning. She cannot be stealthy. Urbosa returned with welcome news. The monsters' numbers were few. Evidently, the eyewitness had mistaken shadows from a lightning flash for a horde of fearsome foes. What if weapons still broke? Nightmare. Nightmare world. It would be horrible. I can accept weapon degradation in the main game because I don't think you upgrade weapons in the main game. I know you can upgrade armor. Daruk bonus combo. But yeah, basically but nightmare world. Nightmare, nightmare. Daruk's got his mind set on a test of courage that's never been tried before. Standing atop bubbling lava held him prepared to achieve the seemingly impossible feat. Have some watermelons! <laughs> He'll stand on the watermelons under the lava. Daruk stepped into the bubbling lava and survived! Even hot magma... Even hot magma's no match for the great Daruk! He cried, galvanized by his volcanic tribe. He became an even mightier warrior. And we got Goron Spice. And we might as well do this one because I... Well, I think they're just hats. I don't really care about them. I'll do them eventually, but let's see. Any side things that I really want to do? Or should we just get on... Um, I guess these side things down here for... Uh, don't care about two-handed... Things. Or most of bonus act. Dies too many <laughs> to side quests. The funny thing is I haven't died yet. Granted, I came close in one of the Divine Beast segments. That would have been terrible. We talk about, ah, I don't think I've ever seen it fall. Almost dies. Oh no. <laughs> Hardly anyone has been visiting Kara Kara Bazaar lately. To breathe new life into the place, why not add a splash of color? That ought to attract the attention of passers-by. With all the colorful decorations, a big crowd gathered at Kara Kara Bazaar. It wasn't just travelers and merchants, but also artists, dancers, musicians. What a lovely scene. And now we got pants. And, ooh, special gauge. Wait, what mode are you on? Normal? I should be on normal. Gerudo Town's beloved spa is looking to offer a rejuvenating new service for warriors weary from battle. Perhaps you can do something to support their expansion by just giving away all my watermelons! And money. Here's my money. With the materials and budget lined up, the spa introduced its new offerings, massages. 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 Brain. It sounds like Herbosa is looking forward to trying out the new service herself. And... Doo -doo. <laughs> Fight Guardian and kill it early on. Hardest mode, easy peasy. Eh, kind of, depending. Depending on how far you uh, on the first run, that would be a little difficult. I think I tried it, and it was just like mostly just it took too long, it took too long for my case, and and I have no money. Ah, screw it. We're under leveled, but I think we can do it. We shall. Who should go? The main team. I suppose you can have a go. And now I will not take Link's clothes off. I find it more interesting to fight around. Hmm. I like this look. Yes. Link kinda ugly. <laughs> nah. He's the ultimate twink. Now let's -a go get some. I need money. Give me more rupees. Surprising. 
Now, destroy the Yiga clan while underleveled. <laughs> Remember to hydrate. At long last, his can you keep up makes sense. Because he's in front. Now that the network of Sheikah Towers had been restored in full, the Sheikah Slate bestowed upon Zelda's party detailed knowledge of all Hyrule. Empowered with this immense trove of knowledge, Hura began running calculations to locate monster camps and the Yiga clan hideout. Pura has created the first Hyrulean on Hyrule Castle or Hylian Ubisoft Ur sandbox. Osa and Divine Beast Varnaboris were sent on a mission to root out the king's enemies. Time to smash up the Yiga clan's front door. Well, it's time. You and I must now ride into battle without the luxury of training. And again. That's the best way to learn. Experience is the best teacher. <laughs> you didn't do the egg jump, disappointed. Uh, they don't let you do the egg stuff while the narrator talks. And then you were so wanting to get to the story. So now we are at the story. The camel story of lightning and anger. Fear the giant camel of lightning. And its smiling face and eight eyes. Six eyes. Eh, it has eight eyes somewhere. Destroy the Yiga clan. Happily. Lightning, lightning. No. Destroy! Destroy! Oh yeah, I forgot that exists. Super Lightning! Nope. Can I cancel? Can't cancel. Why shield when I can destroy? Where'd you all come from? It was very rude. Obviously, we have to destroy the oasis because the evil awaits there. Ah, Malduga. We'll have to kill the Malduga. <coughs> and not get credit for it. Destroy everything! And Melduga defeated. I need not fear Melduga, we have giant camel. Camel by camel. Annihilation. Annihilation. For everyone. Ah, ah, ah. I find it funny, charging up my super attack just gets rid of any danger for me. Why fear when lightning? Uh, you have stirred up a tempest, now lightning. Oh, Yiga! I was like, what is throwing that at me? Ah, a Yiga Master of Blades. Understandable. Now, Annihilation for all. Destroy. Destroy. 
Let's destroy everything. Are you using lightning arrows against the lightning camel? What's wrong with you? And, ah, I thought that was a whiz rope for a moment. It is another blade master. And another Melduga. Are the Meldugas just flying at us, but they were, why are they defending the Iga clan? It makes no sense. Melduga is not friend. Charge and smash through. Smash through it all. Destroy. Destroy everything. <laughs> you mean Van the Boris? Be respectful. <laughs> Shake my head. It is the lightning camel. The great lightning camel. And it will destroy all. Using Pura's insights, Urbosa easily accomplished her mission. Thus, were Zelda and the others witness to the immense capability of the Sheikah Towers. The Varna Boris mission cleared Still wish we could directly use the, the egg. Clan It'd be a hilarious. Even if it was just when it was on screen, it would be in character for the egg to be just like going against the king's wishes. I dance. Even when you talk, old man. Time to annihilate ninjas. But before that, we have a Korok down here. Well, well. Be still. Your Korok seed is now mine. Destroy, destroy everything. Or at least soften them up. Steal their bananas. That's probably a worse fate for them than dying. Imagine, you come home one day, a giant hole is bored through your door. This must be a terrible day for you. Be gone! Cool sword you have there. Too bad it won't save your life. And I shall freeze you, and I shall smack you. Take this, and I. I don't think the Iggy are that bad. I don't know. There's far too many of them to have broken away from the Sheikah clan. The failure of their existential, existential logic is what makes them evil. There are far too many. There are like thousands of Yiga clan, despite the fact there's not that many normal Chica. Makes no sense. Destroy the Moblin. That is why we must destroy the Moblin. He's very dumb. How dare you combo harder than me! Considering the Sheikah are dead, pretty sure it was a good idea to switch to Ika. Well, they're not all dead. And besides... If there weren't that many 
Yiga, there would be far more Sheikah, so they wouldn't all be dead anyway. The Yiga are just very silly. I think they just liked bananas too much. That's another reason why they must die. Wait, I think I'm going the wrong way. I need to go to the right somewhere around here. Like here. Hello, Fire Moblin. I'm here to smack you about today. Freeze, boy. Well, at the very least, Master Koga and Suga are cool. Master Koga is funny and Suga is cool. Hmm. Continue on this path. I shall wait. I knew it the moment that it's like, if I tried to go through, it would annihilate me. So I decided not to go through. Hello, Yiga Clan. Die. That's for hoarding the bananas. That's finally happened. I got Indiana Jones. And then I got Keist. <laughs> we will steal all their bananas! They won't know what to do! When well, you want to spoil the whole game, but spoiling is bad. I... I... I'm very... I respect your... ability to hold back. He's very nice. Hands off our supplies, you dirty good doers! Or uh, do-gooders. They even admit that... They're the bad guys. Steal all their bananas. All their bananas are mine. Just want to make sure this. It was just smoke. And now all their bananas are mine. And now they'll starve. So you know the time where Zelda dies at the beginning and the game is actually a dream and you're not even a dream. You know, I'm actually you. We are the same. I have far too many alternate selves at this rate. Not sure if that was a trap or them just loading in. At this rate, who knows? And now I fly away. But I want in. I go this way. Now you don't have any friends. Now you will die. Friendless. Where'd you all come from? Those were his MySpace friends. They came back. I'm actually you. We're the same. Neon fiery horns. No, that would be monochrome fiery horns. I still need to figure out... That's the funny thing. I actually do have, like, a, a not alternate self. Just kind of, like... Hey, Neon Icy Wings, what would the uh, kind of an opposite be? Uh, monochrome fiery something. I need to figure something out. They'd be a fox, you know, fire fox. I just think they'd be funny. You have failed, lanky man. Lanky man must die. We will steal. It's Lanky Kong! He joined the Yiga! He must die! And then Lanky Kong died. Why does he have a bunch of mines? A bunch of sea mines. A scout appeared. He must rendezvous with TF2's scout. TF2's the scout. How dare you? You're all rude. Then I fly down the stairs like a beautiful butterfly. Except there is a... A Korok that we must release. Why are you here, Korok? Why didn't you tell us that the Yiga clan were here? Oh. Traitor! It's a Yiga Korok! I shall use my ability and kill you all. You wanted me to freeze time on you, did you, Blade Master? 
Now you will die. Be gone. I think we both hit each other. <laughs> I didn't even need to do it. I, I was preparing, but then right as I was preparing to do it, he died. Magical. And then monsters spawned in. What horrors. <laughs> yes, I'm underleveled. Destroys everyone and everything. Precisely. But I just know if I raise the difficulty, I would actually be destroyed. Difficulty is a hard thing to measure. And sometimes it comes to hurt me more than others. Die, Blade Master. Die. Die. Hardest difficulty is literally just one Yiga soldier does five hearts now, I decide. Yeah, I I don't like that kind of difficulty. I prefer difficulty that makes me think when it's just, oh hey, do the same thing but better, and if you don't, you die. <laughs> like, I have to really enjoy, like, basically, that's the kind of difficulty that I would be like, okay, I'll just come back later when I'm a high level and redo it on the difficulty if there's a reward for it. Like in Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, there is a reward for doing certain missions on hard, like a Skull Skulltula, or uh, a heart container, it's just like... So, I would do that, because there's actually a reward. If there's no real reward and just, oh, you want to challenge yourself more? Well, we just we just made the game more bullshit. <laughs> it's just like, eh, I don't think so. No, thank you. I, 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 I respect my time more than your difficulty. Essentially, if it's not something that I can really super duper get better at, and it's just... Hey, annoyance. <laughs> yeah, because that's not difficulty, that's annoyance. Sure, you can get super good and n not have to deal with it, but like, eh. I don't know, I don't think the game's earned that. There's too much off-screen damage potential for me to want to risk that. Like there, that was my fault, but other times... The game is just like, and then the enemy hit you from five years away. Surprise. You can just dodge all the attacks like a Chad. Until it comes to this, in which my dodging skills are subpar. It would basically make me want to play less like, oh, get good, go for the rush, and more like, oh, he's about to attack, run away. It would basically enforce the worst kind of gameplay with me. So yeah, there is a bit of get good, but my sense of get good is basically, okay, cheese the game. And I don't want to lazily, uninterestingly cheese the game. I want to try and fail at, like, actually getting good. Not, oh, you have to get good or you lose. <laughs> It's like, if I wanted a game to be like, hey, get good, I'd play Dark Souls. Or, uh, Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. You know, games that actually reward you for getting good and have difficulty based around it. That's the thing. I get good for games that actually respect you getting good. Dark Souls, Sekiro, Bloodborne... They respect you're getting good, and aside from certain, like, uh, New Game Plus or extra difficulty things like the Demon Bell and Sekiro, everything has been made specifically for a certain difficulty level. Whereas this, this is a Warriors game. Difficulty is not really 
on their minds when they make this game. I'm sure they'd want to make some level of challenge, but they can only do so much, which is mostly enemies have more health, they do more damage. That is the stock difficulty playbook for certain games. I'm very picky with my difficulty for the most part. It's mostly just like, is, it, is the difficulty worth it or is it bullshit difficulty? Bullshit difficulty just annoys me more than anything. It's kind of on the level of, oh yeah, and then the AI just becomes perfect godlike in like <laughs> Poyo Poyo Tetris. Ah, uh, you want more difficulty? Well, now the AI gets perfect Tetrises all the time. It's just like, nah. No, thank you. Difficulty is very different. Like, basically, I want actual scaling things to learn from. I don't want Five Nights at Freddy's 420 mode. Because that's basically how it feels like to me with some games where difficulty goes from easy, easy plus, and then Five Nights at Freddy's 420 mode, you're gonna die and the, the world hates you. There's, like, no in-between with a lot of games. <laughs> it's because difficulty is hard to balance properly. Hell, games that are based around, like, have no difficulty. Have, like, or more, like, have, like, a singular difficulty. Have trouble balancing themselves. <laughs> I usually play games on the slightly harder difficulty or normal. That's kind of what I go for, but when it comes to only like uh, three, like uh, three difficulties, I'll go for the middle one. Four difficulties, depending on what the fourth difficulty is, I'll go for like the third or the second one. And then if the game hinges a bit too much on bullshit difficulty, I'll bump it down to the second from last. It's not just button match, easy win. So it's not just button mash, easy win. Yeah, there's more to it than button mashing. Like, finding the optimal combos for me. That's what I love about this game. <laughs> Learning how to properly use the Sheikah Slate and getting one turn weak states. Look what you did. <laughs> Master Koga is such a fun character. It's because you're Master Koga! Because your thread's about to get cut. And I'm the shears. Snip, snip! He's quite limber for a portly fellow. I don't think I could keep my balance basically ha yes. making a 90 degree air, uh, angle backwards. He's a fantastic character. Oh yeah, another example of kind of... Uh-oh. Hit. Ah, so that's where he gets his giant metal balls in that one room. Neat lore. Like, another example of kind of bullshit difficulty that I wanted nothing to do with is... Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix. It's a uh, hard mode? I forget what it's called. But I just did not like that one, especially because Kingdom Hearts 1 opens with you not being able to block, not being able to use magic, and not even being able to use dodge roll. Blah. <laughs> he went into the ground. 
Silly fool, Master Koga! You must get good, like me. Hey, it. Oh, uh, I I messed up my my flurry rush. No, I dodged out of the flurry rush. I am a failure. Round two. <laughs> Die or I'll kill you. Situation, basically. Master Koga, I am by your side. Double boss battle. <laughs> Finally, you lay up. I destroyed the bomb. Well, I mean, he already got beat up by us once, Koga. It's not his fault. Damn, I wasted my Sheikah Slate, and I got a, a Flurry Rush by accident. What fun. Ability! I shall beat up Suga. Get out of here, Suga. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? And he was just dancing on a bomb his way here. Speaking of bombs. Oh, Master Koga just... Suga led me to do this to... Uh, I wanted to kill... Well, I guess I killed them both. That works. <laughs> I killed them all in one, one swipe. Oh, no, it's not. I'm going to does you all the next move, an ancient technique I call... RUNNING AWAY! After all that fighting, and they just run away, no home for the Yiga clan. The Yiga clan are now Yiga clanless. And we got a bunch of chicken. Ah. Special attack charge rate and Sheikah rune damage. <laughs> Tactical retreat, basically. Uh, it's it's Boss Faramus' ex-wife. She's taking Hyrule in the divorce. I am afraid we cannot overlook this failure. Can't do it's it. not a bug. It's a feature. Fate decides all. Even this defeat. Huh? As you well know. If you decided to turn against me, you would make an enemy of Calamity Ganon. <laughs> so you see that. Good. We will need each other's help if we are to achieve our goal. In the name of Calamity Ganon, you and I are bound. Let us turn our eyes to the task before us. Yeah. His incredibly creepy eyes. <laughs> Ten minutes later, basically. These Sheikah Towers. <laughs> Probably more than ten they minutes, because it took useful, them... I admit. <laughs> ...obviously quite a while to get back <laughs> to the Sheikah right? Tower. Oh, but just wait. There's one more thing I gotta show ya. <laughs> yeah, I need your men for Ganon. No biggie, right? Basically. <laughs> Teleportation! Even though we've kind of already used this technology to go to other worlds, but I, that might be non canon, I don't know. Uh, uh, Pura? A little warning would have been nice. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But look, is this technology amazing or what? <laughs> Right now, we can't teleport many people at once. And anywho, there aren't many places we can travel. But with further study, I think these towers will be invaluable. Lucky for us, I have lots of new researchers on my team, too. You can tell they're Sheikah, because their hair is all white. I know that you won't. I wish I could join you, but now... I must awaken my power, or else my dad will be very irate with me. Uh, anyway, I'm glad...
glad for your help, Kura. Now we can teleport some people, some places, like the sun. <laughs> We're sending you to the dungeon. Oh, that's not too bad. The dungeon is <laughs> on the sun. No, my tan. My beautiful, beautiful tan. Ruined. My resources. All gone. My resources are all going to be gone. Wants me to... Oh, it's an upgrade for the Dilly D, but I need to kill more things. Oh, wait. No, that's not uh, an upgrade. Qualify for the trial of Monk Maz Koshia. It's been a while. What things do I need to kill? I guess I'll assign it. I, can, I kind of forgot that he existed. That the Monk Man existed. Has two bonus combo. One of the Koroks is upset because no matter how hard they spin their leaf, they can't seem to fly like their siblings. And they should try using fire to create an updraft. That'll get them off the ground. Or burn them alive. Riding on eddies of warm air above the crackling fire, the Korok sailed through the sky with ease. With practice, they became an expert. They even taught Hestu a bit about the art of flying. Yeah, start a forest fire, basically. Increase slots for cooking. <gasps> Double cooking time! You've seen the Bacoblins cooking many times from afar. They roast meat to succulent perfection. How? Learn their technique by getting much closer. Spying quietly isn't really an option. Bravo. By getting so close to Bacoblins, you learn the secrets of exquisite roasting. Prep the meat to just the heat. There's so much to know about cooking. So much to learn more each day. From monsters. And a fire in the forest. Sure, it will work great. Well, they are spirits of the forest, so they obviously know best. Anti-lightning training, eh? Let us beat him up with Hestu. We need more bees. More bees. Ah, that's actually a thing. I should probably check out all the stores. See what they have. No. See if I need... I, I need a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Do Buck Goblins cook better than humans? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then again, this is probably like Link we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So he's probably just like, mm -hmm. Ah, that's how Buck Goblins cook. Everyone's just like, Link, yeah. we could just have the chefs of the castle teach you. And he's just like, no, I must watch how the, huh? the monsters cook. Oh. No one's at those stables. No one's at those stables. Ah. Go fill up those stables before I beat you. Ooh. I paid good money for Ooh. these stables to be open and you will use them, traveling merchants. Even if I don't always buy from you. More bees, more bees, more bees. We'll grind up the bees. Link is just weird. Link is forever weird because he's haunted by visions of the past and future. God damn it, I need to buy a bunch of things from them. At least I know where to get those. But they're so expensive. Well, let's see. As words written in light appear before your eyes, a voice from nowhere relates the same. Only those who pass through the door of the trial of monsters may seek our power. And, uh, there goes not much, actually. I pass your trial. I've murdered a lot of things. When you offered the materials, the words of light changed. The voice said you have done well to pass through the door of the Trial of Monsters. Now we grant you part of our power. Vasak. Let's see, what do I need? Good God, I... And I need two diamonds! 
I need two diamonds, you greedy monk. I need two diamonds. Five of them, and I'll just, I guess, I'll get around to it. What's the other thing that's set for diddly? What is the other thing that I am... Ah, that. Guess I'll take that off because we'll get it eventually. And sit you there. Yes, I know that one exists. Shut up. Leave none behind. Let's beat him up. Let us get practice in with Mipha. This works out doubly good because... Mifa would totally go fight monsters to get Link another hairdo. And once more, egg on ice! It dances, it sways, it dashes, and it even sings Egg the Musical, coming to a Broadway near you. You don't have a Broadway, then build one. Get good. I must rescue friends. They weren't friends, they were villains. And I got a flurry rush. Yay! He knows how he sees. Yes. Yeah. Die, Blade Master. Drown in the desert. God, that would have to be the worst because you're like in the water and the water's kind of amplifying the heat a bit and you're drowning. Ugh. I forgot about one. You need the four combo. You need to learn how to do the combos. Get away from the boy! I don't know what was happening. I was trying to do normal attack and the game said no. No normal attacks for you. And we still got the weak point off. Okay. I'm not gonna do that again. There we go. Smishy smash. Wow, uh, almost weak point time. How dare you? How dare you smack the fish princess? The fish princess will remember this. Yeah, he's, he's. Yay! Smishy's man! And die! We laugh at the death of sentient beings. <laughs> Remember to laugh when you kill things. It asserts dominance upon the weak-willed fools of the world. Now smishy smashy. Everyone will drown in the desert. Stabbed you in the butt. Now you are dead. Ah, that didn't go through. How dare you! I can't even see anything. There's too many particle effects, and I am part of the problem. My effects blind me. When and why are the Rito here? Ah, friendship. And also alternate universe. <laughs> Basically, it's just like, save all the captains. So we saved all the captains. Maybe the birds are like, we need to learn how to take the heat. In case, I don't know. 
the world died and they need to move into a desert. And a new hairdo for Link. Ah, you see, it's saving each one teaches Mifa how to do hair Link's hair just like that. In bits and pieces, it's like an ancient puzzle riddle. Let's see. Defend the Sands. Let's do this one. Mighty Thunder of the Gerudo. Let us uh, throw Hestu in there. Now a tree will be in the desert. The oddest place for a tree. Obviously, we need to have a Hestu cactus skin. It's the only way to rectify this. And then all his attacks become water-based because cactuses just drink water. All day, every day. Gotta make sure that the team follows each other. And then I fly! Come, my army. Overwhelm the sands with destruction. And joy! Okay, good. I don't need to kill you. Hestu to the Gerudo. Don't make me kill you! Hestu, you can make your way over there. Ah, right, get out of my way, rocks. I have moblins to destroy. Get out of the way. There's a moblin over here. Come on. Or Bosa could jump that. She's got strong legs. It's the opposite of just in time. But the Moblin will still die. Annihilate the Moblins one by one with Desert Lightning! Ah, we can finally do this properly. There we go. Smashy smashy. Bosa can defend there while the tree monster destroys everything else in the desert. You can't play golf of trees, idiot. 
I maraca you. Maraca you to death. Don't let the stronghold fall. I'm too busy murdering. Can't you see? Murder comes first before defense. Hestu, just my master of weak points, apparently. Or no, not weak points, but rushes. A monster's made it in. Well, that sounds like her boss's problem. Because as you can see, I'm Hestu. I have no concept of property. I horror <laughs> just heard the monsters all the way home. Dance with me, friends! The ultimate dancing troop of death! Monster, you don't belong in this desert. Dance with me, friends of murder. Hello. Come on, Urbosa. I trust you to murder. Kill. Kill. Kill them all. this one first. The allies will just have to deal. Now freeze you and murder time. Bosa, not the master of flurry rushes. That works. Ah, flurry rush. <laughs> I don't even have to try flurry rushing with Hesdu. Bomb time. Who gave Hesdu bombs? It's the worst thing ever. He's gonna make a bomb dance. on him. Atomic drop. Fly away with me. I don't need that conflicting Sheikah Slate instructions. I just need murder. Oh, 
Wow, that actually worked. <laughs> Their true weakness is music. Indeed. That's honestly probably canon. Dodge too fast. Too fast, too furious. Hestu is too powerful. He must be stopped. Fear him. Does this look like the face of mercy? It is the face of oblivion that comes calling for you. Loody, spinny. And we'll go ahead and do uh, this mission. Just get it out of the way. Have fun with the lightning Campbell of magic. Magic and glory. And now, the dance of the egg. Egg on ice! Ice Broadway. Why hasn't anyone created the concept of Ice Broadway? It would sell at least dozens. Dozens at least. You dare try to throw things at me? I kill you with area of effect attacks. I don't even need to look. I'll uh, just get into kind of good range. And boop. If Ganon didn't take over the Divine Beast and Guardians, Hyrule would have won in the first two minutes. Basically, yeah. Because the Divine Beasts are amazing. Dare try to attack me? I have a camel. Camel, my camel. Obviously, we need to eradicate the ruins. It's too infested by monsters. <coughs> Not Malduga, no! I don't even really need a, a super move. This is super enough move for me. But I shall use a laser here, because I think it has good coverage. Everything dies, the camel is alive. Huh. Now the idea comes to me. I wonder what the Divine Beasts would look like if they were, like, personified. Sexy Camel of Lightning. Get out of here, Yiga Blade Masters. I have an ability just to shut you all down. What are these guys even doing? They're just standing around waiting for their masters to get in the way. We will channel our power to attack the camel. And then they'll all die. All of you will die. Ah, Melduga's on the way. They were supposed to get more Divine Beasts, but they got scrapped. Understandable, Breath of the Wild was already big, but at the same time, I don't think I... Huh. I wonder, like, what they could have been used for, because... There's already... A Divine Beast for each major species. Well, except for a high a Hyrulean. Okay. Oh, well, I'll just do this. Because we got the Gorons, we got the Gerudo. I don't really think... Like, what would there be? Who would be the final pilots? 
One of the scrapped ones is in Robbie's uh, ah, Robbie's lab in Breath of the Wild. Interesting. I wonder if they were just like concepts and maybe like the past and future pilots would each drive their own. Maybe that could have been a thing. We have to reawaken these other ones that the new pilots will pilot to take down the corrupted ones. And then in the finale, the ghosts pilot the old ones. Just something like that. That's the way I see it working out. <laughs> would be the final pilot. The Hylian would be the final pilot. Maybe, maybe. Why did you want me to do this one so badly? <laughs> I'm gonna fight this one. Who should do this one? I shall have Daruk do this one. Actually, I'm gonna go level up Daruk's stuff. At the blacksmith. Or maybe a Sheikah, since, you know, it's Sheikah technology. That would be interesting. Impa piloting a thing would be kind of cool. Or maybe, uh, what was her name? Ah, I forget her name. Meh. I have terrible memory. But yeah, Ashika would have been cool. To drive a divine beast. <laughs> no, not Pura. Eh, Pura might have made sense, like Pura and Robbie both piloting one. It was one of the small characters from Kakariko Village. I can't remember her name. Eh, nobody else has that many weapons that need to be gotten rid of. So on we go. Let's see. Defend the sands. Let's go. Impa's descendant? I'm not sure what their relation is, but maybe? I think it's just her assistant. That's what I saw her as. I don't know if there's any relation. Like I said, I'm, my memory is shot when it comes to small little things. Big thing, sure. Names? No. Defeat Suga. Are they all gonna come at me? Die. Paya is her granddaughter. Yeah, her. I could see her maybe piloting a beast. Maybe, maybe if she had a beast plan, she could have, like, uh, had more of a story arc to her. Yeah. I can understand them not having that many. Because four is a nice number. For... Divine beasts. So I can understand. Four is just a nice number. I wonder what the final number would have been otherwise if they could put all of the numbers they all the beasts they wanted in. You can't handle the Goron. Stasis time. Boom. Die. That chest almost got let this guy get away. Now I have to go kill Suga. Rolling through the desert sands. Hmm. 
nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Get rushed, Suga! Stasis time for you! I think he went super far a different direction than I was expecting. Slam him! Oh, those are block shields. Understandable. And now if you excuse me, Suga, I have to go save the base. Don't know why they didn't give me two people to play with here. Maybe it's because it's like, ah, super strategies. Use strategy. But I don't want to use strategy. I want to use overwhelming force and tears. And another Blade Master. Blow them all away! Can you handle it? Blow them all away! Fun fact, Pai is in love with Lincoln was meant to be a younger girl before he turned her into a young woman. Understandable. I guess at first they kind of... I could see it have been like kind of a puppy love thing if it was the Paya was younger and then if they meant it to be like hmm maybe it could be she could rival Zelda herself they decide to increase her age could be any number of things It's always interesting to hear like the differences at the beginning and end of how a game was supposed to go. Here are the ideas and here's how it went. <laughs> Damn, everybody be, be liking Link. And hilariously enough, the one he gets shipped with the most is the fish. And not even the fish that has a crush on him. Very amusing. Wrong one. I'm a failure. But I gotta rush anyway. So I'm happy. I will refuse to perish. I didn't dodge it. I'm a failure. I didn't even dodge that one. Or that one. Failures for me. Link secretly likes me for more, though. Yeah, I think it was mostly the, my duty. I cannot do it. My duty requires me. Hopefully, Mipha survives this. Because Breath of the Wild, Link, and Mipha is my OTP. So I hope Mipha survives. And there isn't a last minute. Surprise, everyone dies.
Daruk's Cryonis is not an intuitive move for me. He goes, why does Daruk get sent higher than everyone else? Mepha never went through with it because she thought Zelda already captured Link. The only thing Zelda captured is, like, family issues. Beat him up! Honestly, the hilarious thing is in that that relationship, Zelda is probably the one that would probably be like least interested. <laughs> Me when not throwing bombs at Suga when the counter shows up. Yeah, basically. Why follow what it wants you to do when you can do what you want to do? Be different. Be a be a Goron in the sand. It's like keep doing things. What do you want me to do here? What do I do? I don't have things to do there. I do not think so. And ever once again, hmm. slightly underleveled, but hey, we have you the main clear out gang. Out. Let's go on with the story. You call this food? I call it a delicacy. Imagine if the environment affected specific characters. Uh, I think the Warriors fans would be annoyed at that. People already deride the One Piece Warrior games because Sanji can't fight women. Of this? Yes. And it like depends. So severity the depends on game to game. We'll mark the date of Calamity Ganon's return. Yes. That is what the images we recovered indicate, at least. What a terrible birthday. Time has run out, then. Zelda. You and the knights will travel to the Spring of Courage. No matter what it takes, you must awaken your power before. No birthday cake. Only birthday calamity. Understood. Records derived from the friendly guardian indicated that Calamity Ganon would return on Zelda's 17th birthday. Desperate to preempt this grim future, King Rome ordered his daughter to train at the Spring of Courage. Go and have a mental breakdown, child. The king, Princess Zelda, and every living being in Hyrule could sense the thunderous footsteps of a looming scourge. Scourge. Obviously, that scourge is the Yiga clan. Dancing egg. I will do whatever I can, as I am right now. Even if all I have to give is my faith that things will work out. This is the thread that I've been following all this time. Even so... All of the research into the relics, if I cannot awaken to my power, will have been in vain. It is the hard, probably the hardest thing for Link. <laughs> Link was just super, super lucky. All he had to do was pull out a sword and... Just being his right mind, Zelda. Zelda just has a lot of weight on her shoulders, but yeah, the music is great. I am the only one who cannot live up to her own potential. Princess Zelda. Why not? Let's go take a break somewhere. There's I, no time I for really, breaks. My birthday is the uh, doomsday. She's trying her best. Impa. It's just no more time. And now invasion of death. I knew it. The music went down. Link if he wasn't buff hardcore mode. Link, pull out this funny sword in the ground. Basically. 
but he also kind of had to embody himself, but Link had an easier time of that than Zelda. Yeah, I wonder, like, what would go into... Like, what even, how would you even begin to do what Zelda is doing? That's a question for the ages. How would you go about doing what they expect Zelda to do? Like, I have no idea. Watch and learn. You stand a chance. Be still. It's just have faith. But not even that, it's it doesn't even have any explicit answers to how to activate it. It's like, oh, that, you can just pilot this thing. You can use the sword if you're the chosen to banish the darkness. But for her, awaken your power. How do you do that? Nobody knows. There aren't any scholars. Link, you take that horde. I appreciate your valor, but we kind of have to keep you safe. All you have is a janky Sheikah Slice. Capture outposts. Be gone, Keese. I have a tornado on my side. Frickin' rock balloons! Rock balloons coming to uh, die near you. Die balloons! <laughs> and I'm gonna drop ice on your head because I think you're ugly. Watch and learn. Yeah, that Sheikah Slate <laughs> that teleports. Yeah, that is a thing. <laughs> But at the same, same time, it's probably a thing of, there's probably implied to, is there implied to be guards? I would imply that the, there would be guards here and they can't just leave them. That's the thing they mentioned. They can't teleport that many people. How many? We don't know. Don't think about it too much. Don't go cin cinema sins on everything. It is kind of fun to go like, oh, they could have done this. But at the same time, it's just kind of like, eh, it's a thing. It could have limits. They want everyone to be there. It could be many things. Maybe they don't want them to corrupt the spring of courage. Zelda, be useful now. She has to awaken her power in a Super Saiyan moment. That'll come in a minute. Zelda has to awaken her Saiyan heritage first. That's what... Calamity Ganon actually is. It's the spirit of Frieza. Her powers activate when it's really needed or really inconvenient. Basically. Which is very inconvenient. Yep. Give. Well, at the same time, not, they don't really awaken when needed. They awaken at the last minute, it seems. Also, I'm pretty sure she has the whole Triforce in this timeline. Huh. That'd be interesting. Then that extra m explains why she can't get into her true power state. Because 
She has to feel powerful, she has to have wisdom, and she has to have courage to fully tap into her power. No wonder that she's having a hard time with it. She has to embody three Triforces to use all her power. That would be an interesting uh, side effect. Like, if you have more of the Triforce, you have to embody more of the Triforce to actually be able to use the Triforce. Don't know what you'd have to embody for power, but I guess maybe strength to a degree. So she needs to find her wisdom, her courage, and everything to properly get it working. The keys were just pounding poor Zelda. Aha! Flurry time! <laughs> she has her wisdom already. She has that bomb default. Well, she still has to embody the wisdom. She still has to tap into it. Another reason why they might have teleported could be Zelda wants everything to work. Uh, nope, we're trying to get to a place. Who knows? Dramatics. Let the drama drum through you. Math is not wisdom. That's intelligence. Wisdom is more esoteric. It's more like gut feeling and... Uh, I'm trying to think. It's like there's a difference between wisdom and intelligence. You can be wise but not intelligent, and intelligent but not wise. I forget the examples, but there's just people not understanding the difference. It's the same thing where courage is different from lacking fear. Okay, I'll come back in a hundred years. Okay, I'm back. I got the wisdom. How do I smack it? Or do, is she gonna smack it? She's probably gonna smack it because she's staying here. I didn't read. I'm too busy reading chat. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is not die. Pure wisdom. Nah. Wisdom is esoteric and strange. Once again, I forget the example. Wish I remembered the example. You stand a chance. Oh, I probably need to bomb it or something. I'm dumb. See, that's probably... That's a lack of intelligence. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there it says. Use more bombs. I'll go back and block the other one. I'm too focused on killing. Murder is too strong in my veins. But at least we have another Moblin to kill. How do five spreading arrows do more damage than one targeted arrow? Magic. And probably skill and bow. It's Ra it's Ravali. Ravali knows magical power things. This guy doesn't even care that I exist. Freaking balloons. Balloons. I don't know why this guy is going away, but I'm gonna kill him. Yay, he's trying to fight me now. And now he's dead. 
Those trees really mess with their heads. They're like, no, they broke the tree. Me sad now. Me leave. And I did not let him. <laughs> Sounds like you have the Triforce of Power right now. Yes. I am the Triforce of Tri. And Force. Stop. I was trying to get rid of it. Oh, hey, a chest. Give it. I have to be on the ground. <gasps> Two diamonds! That's what I need. But now I just need, like, uh, rubies and stuff. It will be done. Yep, another one. Let me blow it up. Remember to stay hydrated. Joke's on you. I was prepared. I can use this. That's the way. Oh, hey, Korok. We must take all the Koroks and make an army. <laughs> Princess, you look exhausted. Will you please? No, I insist. Take a rest at once. We are being followed by monsters. Imagine final boss and then there's a Korok and you get it instead of saving your allies. No, guys, this is important. It's for collectible. She doesn't sense any monsters, and yet... A horde has come through! From behind! Take this! Deluge of arrows! Yes! Yes! Make it smack. Die. Yet another, another monster has appeared. Too many monsters. Cool down. Take this. Ice blocks to head. You could skip this part of Zelda took no damage. Easy dub. Ah. Interesting. This just means I get more kills. Freezing me! I'm here to kill you all! You stand a chance. I said I'm here Watch to kill you all! You stand a chance. Take this instead. You don't get ice, you get sword! Take this, Electric Moblin! That's enough rest, I apologize for the delay. Really, it's Impa's fault for letting all the keys get to you. Impa, I cannot fight bats! I am too weak for that! This is gonna be important later, I just know it. How the hell does Link switch to his allies? Uh... Anger. Anger and rage. Time to throw bombs at your ugly face, Wizzy. Destroy! Destroy! All Wizrobes must die. 
Stay with her. I have a plan. It is a stupid plan. I'm gonna go take over that place. We need to go the right way. Die already, won't you? I shall take over that place because it is a place that exists. Electric wizard whips and breath of wilds. No more weapons, I say. Basically, yeah. Just bounce them far, far away. Whereas in this game, it's mostly just flying. <laughs> no more flying, says the annoying, disturbing balloon rocks. And Korok. Who needs to save Zelda? There's Koroks to collect. And this place that has a bunch of people to kill. Quit smacking me. I'm the one who smacks. Or in this case, bombs. I don't even need to break you. Die. Yeah, I just want to do that. It existed. It must be important. I grab it. You know, I, I know, right? Zelda dies in the background. Ah, she has a Triforce of Power or something. I'm sure she survived for a hundred years. She could survive, I'm sure. She spent years protecting Link. I'm sure she'll be fine. <laughs> no, she hasn't. This is kind of not Breath of the Wild. Get your head straight. Ah, uh, she'll do it again and again. If different her, uh, just it's a box. It's a Korok in a box. Well, wonders never cease. I thought I killed him. Die. Go away. Humble away. Who would be Link's descendant? What hell? Himself, obviously. The road is blocked. We blew up too many trees. Now they're here to get their revenge. If he died before getting put into stasis chamber. Uh. I have no idea. It looks like similar to Varuta's draining mechanism. Investigate the relic. Obviously, they would have cloned Link. You guys, I died, but I came back from some random parents of the exact same. No biggie. That would be weird to people. You look exactly like Link. Link, I have his spirit. <laughs> I stole it. <laughs> Zelda wants to go back and beat up all the monsters. Zelda wants to assert dominance. Oh, oh boy. It's a Hinox. Hinox. We gotta knock his socks off. Dang it. I think, God damn it, game. I locked onto him. Why did you unlock me? Beat him up. Destroy. Destroy. Blow up his toes. No more toes for you. Try me. <laughs> Try me. Nope. Fury Rush. Might as well be the same thing. That boss music sounds like the Hinox farted at the beginning. 
That might just be. He's a big boy. Big ugly boy. That's what blue stands for. Big ugly boy. And now, die to a deluge of arrows. Bye bye. It died faster than the moblins. <laughs> Big, large, ugly. Ew. Exactly. Is huh? everyone all right? Oh, thank goodness. We're all right because of you, Princess. Your keen senses saved us. Well, I really, it, it was thanks to your strength. Believe in yourself, small child. Now you listen to me. Uh, Slap her. Okay. Slap the princess. You said that you are the only one who can't live up to your potential. But that's completely untrue. I mean, you saved all of us just now. With technology. All of your effort, your research is not in vain. Princess. It kind of will be if she doesn't obtain her power. I get your point. But we still need the power. She is helping a lot and saving people currently. But in the future, it is still a very important thing that needs to happen. Thank you. Imp execution in two days. Reason slapped princess. I want. Ah, we can have a few slapped princesses. We, I we really need Impa on the team. To fulfill my duty until the very end. And that very end is like a hundred years from now. That's really all I can do. All that money! Link has to sell some of his brilliant items. Link is just like, no, I refuse to sell my beloved items. I can't part with them. I can't. <laughs> they would be shriveled up like Impa. I went through like so many topics, I'm wondering what that was related to. Oh boy, upgrades. Tons of upgrades. Ah! It wants me to do that, but I can't do it. I need fish. Improved stagger resistance! Stagger resistance! <laughs> Ancient shaft. Nice. And now I can have better stasis! Researchers trying to develop an upgrade for stasis have come up empty-handed. Guardian parts might give them a hint, but how could they possibly obtain those? Buying them from a dude! <laughs> Impressive. Stasis is too powerful. I love me stasis. I forgot to read it. Within days of receiving ancient materials, researchers announced a new upgrade for stasis. More than the items themselves, your show of support had made all the difference. What is it that's still missing? Uh, yep, the red and the orange. Vasak. Uh. Guess I'll take all of them. Wait. I think I only need two. I'll take two. Uh, you only have one. Uh, uh, I need one more. Ah! Train people. Train people. It says wanting to lead people to their doom. Dear God, we need to feed the divine beast Va Meadow so much food. Resources. Resources. Power up Divine Beast Vanaboris. You hear of a plan to use Divine Beast Vanaboris to patrol the desert. Many are worried about the, what's out there. Show them proof you have it, what it takes to bear such terrors. Screw the training. Beat the story now. No! He's mine! Increase natural lightning gauge recovery. 
I'll beat game my own way with my meat. So many things to do. And not to mention, it is also getting a bit late. And I can't go forever. But I think that shall do it for now. We did decent story stuff. We did decent side stuff. I might just have to do resource grinding off screen for all these side dealies. Ah. <laughs> So many things I want to do. <laughs> Remember to stay hydrated. Remember to stay hydrated. Remember to stay hydrated. At least I'll get my daily intake of water from all this. <laughs> but yeah. There's lots to do. Might do resource grinding off stream. <laughs> I wonder if you actually drink the water. I mean, I'm sure you... Well, it depends. Uh, my water bottle is pretty loud. And I'm just, like, drinking drinks. But at the same time, I don't want to go full ASMR when it comes to drinking water. But yeah, I think that will do it for now. We made decent story progress. And by that, I mean, like, three story missions? But, yep, I'll do resource stuff off stream, that way we can just do things. And by that I'll probably just go into the, hey, what resources do we have, and do them one by one of what I don't have. <laughs> huh, what's next stream? Next stream, it'll either be Pokemon Crystal or Kingdom Hearts Final Mix and continue that finally. Probably Pokemon Crystal. I'll finish up Pokemon Crystal sometime. Like, either go super fast for Pokemon Crystal if the gems are easy enough. Uh, and maybe continue swapping between Pokemon Crystal and Age of Calamity until I beat Pokemon Crystal. Then buckle down and have Kingdom Hearts take Crystal slot. And then move on to a, a very special game, but that's for later. So, yeah. Tomorrow, probably Crystal, but maybe Kingdom Hearts if I'm feeling it. it I'm really feeling it! I'll have to get to Xenoblade someday. <laughs> yes, special game. Very sass. But either way... Either way... Either way... I think that will be it for now. Multiplayer special game. <laughs> uh, silly you. I have no friends. I don't think I've had a single stream where I had a co-com. Mainly because I would be like super stressing out. I don't really know people. I don't really talk to people. Well, that's a me problem. Hey, hey, you stop that parasocial relationship. <laughs> we might become friends in future, but right now we are acquaintances. I'm very walled when it comes to labels. <laughs> trust me, the random viewer you found in the box. Silly people. I don't trust anyone. <laughs> but either, either way. I have been Neon Icy Wings. This has been Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. If you want more from me, I, I, just, I just remembered I, I need to update my stream description. I'll do that after this stream is ended. Ah. But yes, if you want more from me, I have a YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, that I hardly update. I might get around to doing simple edited content in the future. I don't know. And then also Neon Icy Games for the recordings of these streams. If you want to catch up on previous streams, and if you're watching those previous streams, hit me up on Twitch to watch me live. If you want other things from me, I also do arts and stuff on Twitter. And Newgrounds and Tumblr and Deviant Arts because there's so many social medias now today. But either way, I've been Neon Icy Wings and thank you very much for watching. I will see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> did you not say Discord? No, I did not say Discord. I don't give out my Discord. I don't even have a Discord server.
I'm just in other people's Discord servers. I don't want to moderate a Discord server, but I'm going to go away now. Outro! Commence!